Hey everybody. Al Illusion says, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Hi. How's everybody doing? Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? We had some we had some sound trouble last week. Muhib Ali. How am I? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Trey Brown is here. Good to see you. Look. All the old familiars are here. Alejandra, Rosa, Rosa, Zara is back. Wow, so many people saying hello, hello, hello. Our illusion, Steve Lynn, Slanez. Hi, Isabella. Zaid, oh my goodness. Sounds okay, you're calling me blue shirt? <laughs> yeah, right. So hopefully the sound is okay for you guys this time. All right. I look fresh. Yeah, I'm pretty. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling pretty fresh. I guess it's 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 early in the morning here. Well, I mean it's not it's not the crack of dawn or anything, but uh, it's nine o'clock here in Vancouver, Canada. Chemeth Nikoloi saying hi. Hello, hello, Luca Key, Luca Kai, Luca Key. Sevket. Sevket, you're saying, does everyone know each other here? A lot of us know each other because we're here every week. Now, Rosa Casiero, you're saying the sound is not okay. I think that's uh, a, a problem on your end, I think. It looks to me, um, on my side of things, that the sound is, the sound is good. Okay. 6 p.m. in Catalonia. Oh yeah, you're Slanese, you're Catalonia, eh? Very cool. Mohammed is saying, good morning, teacher. Is it morning time where you are, Mohammed? Babakar? 8 p.m. in Qatar. Well, that's not too late. That's okay. All right, so everyone else is saying that the sound is good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Harry Krishna Karel saying he's new here. Well, welcome. Everybody's welcome. All right. So um, if you're new here, I'm Sean. Welcome to my class. I'm going to be your teacher um, for the next hour or so. Okay. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's a rainy day. It's a rainy day here in Vancouver. It's rainy and a little bit cold. But you know what? I, I'm going to have to, I have to share with you something. I'm, I'm showing everybody this. So what better way to show everybody this than to, to show it on YouTube. This is an, I'm going to show you a photograph that my mother texted me yesterday. Okay, this is an actual photo. Let me see if you guys can see that. Can you see that? That is an actual photograph of my mother's front door on the eastern part of Canada. Can you guys see that? What that is? That is snow. <laughs> okay, that is my <laughs> that is my mother's front door in Atlantic Canada right now. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That is that's a true story right there. Okay, so yeah, that's a lot of snow. Yeah, I know. Um, so in Vancouver, sometimes we complain a little bit about the rain. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, that's snow, guys. That's snow. Um, but we don't get snow like they get on the East Coast. So imagine opening your door. Imagine opening your door and seeing that. Imagine waking up to go to school or work and opening your door and that is, is waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Snow. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I just thought I would share that with you guys because I think that is just absolutely crazy. Um, because I've been living in Vancouver for so long, I, I forget sometimes. I forget about how extreme some uh, Canadian winters can be. It's pretty mild here. Isabella, it's hot where you are? Well, where are you? Where are you that is so hot? How illusion you're in Melbourne. Cool. Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to get to Melbourne someday. That would be awesome. <laughs> French Leo, that's bears weather? Yeah, well, I think all the bears are sleeping at this point of, uh, in the year. Well, except for maybe polar bears, I guess. 
Okay, guys, so as I said, if you're new, I'm Sean, I'm in Vancouver, I'm coming to you live right now, 9 o'clock in the morning, from uh, the Canadian College of English Language. Oh, I almost forgot where I, uh, where I work. <laughs> Yeah, she, you could make a tunnel there. I think she's fine though. She's got she's got food, and she's got uh, she's got cable TV. She's got some HBO. So don't worry about her. She's she's okay. <laughs> okay. So let me jump into into smart here, guys. Okay. So um, I thought that today we would finish up with what we were doing in class last week. Ben Sheik Balala saying he's from Al, for, or you're from Algeria. Cool. Yeah, I think we've got some more Algerians in in the class. Good to see. All right. So we're gonna finish up what we started last week. We talked about we talked about gerunds last week. Okay, and we're gonna continue with that. So anybody who's in the class in Smart, you can go into Unit Six if you like. This is what we're focusing on today. Anybody who's who's just here for to, to watch, that's okay too. Let me go into my little my little presentation. Yeah, we're gonna finish up with gerunds. Because gerunds, as we talked about last week, are something that they they seem sometimes easy because you learn about them early in your English studies, but it sometimes takes a while to get comfortable with all of the different ways that we use them or, or the difference between gerunds and participles and whatnot. And we talked about that last week, right? So as I said, we're going to finish up with gerunds and maybe do a little bit of work with vocabulary from Unit 6. Some people have been sending me questions about, about vocab uh, from the unit. So we're going to do that as well. So a reminder to anyone who's just joining, this is a, an intermediate level class, right? Not too high, not too low. But if you are higher or lower, you are more than welcome to join, okay? But I'd just like to tell you what kind of, what level we're aiming for here, okay? All right, so let's get into it, guys. So let's, I thought, with Jaren 6.1 six, six is what we did last week. Just a real quick review of everything we talked about last week to get everybody up to the same place, okay? I'm not going to spend too much time talking about what we talked about last week. Just a real quick, just a real quick review. Steve Lynn, not too high, not too low, just right? Yeah, intermediate is just right, yeah? <laughs> okay. So what are gerunds? Jay Pablo, you're only, you're only getting it from the left side of your headphones? You want you want me in stereo? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure, guys. I don't know. Um, it, again, it seems to be working okay here for me. But I'll have somebody look into it. Okay. So gerunds. What are gerunds? And last week we talked about this. We said gerunds are. Well, gerunds look like verbs with ing, right? Any kind of verb, you put an ing on it. This is what a gerund is. But as we said last week, gerunds are not verbs, right? Now a gerund is a verb plus ing, but are they verbs? No, they're not verbs. Are they adjectives? No, they're not <laughs> adjectives, right? So what are they? They are nouns. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why this kid is so angry, right? Gerunds are nouns, okay? They're not verbs or adjectives. So gerunds are, just again, just to remind you what we talked about last week, gerunds are ing verbs that function as nouns. They are verbal nouns, as Diari is saying, exactly right. They look like an ing verb, but they are in the place that you would usually see or find a noun. Okay? You love my calm demeanor? Yeah, well, I try, I, if you're talking about me, I, I try to stay calm. I think this, this is nothing, gerunds are nothing to panic about, right? Let's not panic. 
about, about grammar. Sometimes I lose my calm demeanor, yeah? But, um, but this is a pretty relaxing environment, I think. Okay, so you're absolutely right. Vivek is saying they act as nouns, ing verbs as nouns, okay? And as we said last week, kind of two, two things to keep in mind, two tips. If you can put a noun there in the sentence, you can usually put a gerund, okay? If you can put a noun there, you can put a gerund. Now, Fetty's saying, can join the role of the verb. Well, gerunds can sometimes follow verbs, for sure. And we're going to talk about that today. So if you can put a noun there, you can usually put a gerund there. OK? <laughs> you want that money? Yeah, you can you, you just reach in and get some, Vivek. Yeah. <laughs> and gerunds are always singular. OK? They're always singular. So watch out for that. You want to use singular verbs with a gerund. OK? So just to make sure that we're all on the same that we're all on the same page here. So everybody is saying for some reason that that the left, my left is not working, eh? That's kind of strange. I don't know. I don't want to be messing around with that stuff. But again, if you can hear me out of out of one <laughs> out of one side, I guess that's that's better than nothing. Okay? But that that is strange, and I'll get Julian to fix that for next week. Okay, so just so we're on the same page here, okay? Quick little, quick little quiz. I'm going to pop off the screen for 10 seconds, 5 seconds maybe, all right? And um, this is what I want you to do. Answer this question. Which of these sentences have gerunds in them? Okay, six sentences. Which of them have gerunds. Where are the gerunds? Put your answers in the chat. I'm going to be back in 10 seconds. I'm going to go check out, check out the sound here. Okay? Go for it, guys. All right. Well, oh, where am I? Here I am. Good stuff, guys. Lots, lots, lots coming in. Just tell me if the, if the sound has changed at all, guys. If you're getting uh, more sound in your left, in your left side. Okay. So, I'm glad I asked this question because I'm seeing a lot of different answers coming in here. We said which sentence or sentences have gerunds? People are saying A, C, D, F, A, C, D, F, C, and F, A, C, D, F. A lot of people are saying A and C and D and F. Some people saying B, C, E, F. Wow, lots of, lots of a variety of answers here. So let's go through it one by one. A is not a gerund. Okay, in this case, I'm going to a movie with a friend this evening. That is a verb. Okay, still only receiving sound on my left headphone. Sorry, guys, there's nothing I can do about that at this point. Okay, 
just um, <laughs> we'll fix it for next time. Okay. So this here, that's your present participle, as we talked about last week. Okay. That's a participle, a continuous uh, verb. In this case, we're using the the participle to talk about the future, right? Ishak Khan is saying, please pronounce my name. Ishak, is that how you pronounce your name? <laughs> okay. So A, not a gerund, because ing is functioning as a verb. Okay, now some of you said B is a gerund, but remember we said gerunds are nouns. Okay, so in B, I find this topic very interesting. In this sentence, interesting, not a gerund. This is an adjective, right? Because this ing participle is describing or modifying this noun, topic. The topic is interesting. Interesting is an adjective. All right? Good, 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 good. All right. So C, having fun is more important than winning. I guess, oh, I could have, I could have highlighted that one too. In this sentence, these are gerunds. Okay, I'm just going to put a G there for gerund. Having fun, that ing is a noun because it is the subject of the sentence. Lewis is asking about interested versus interesting. I don't think we'll have time to talk about that today, but that's a good question. We'll, we'll get back to that in, in another class maybe, okay, um, on participles. Now what about D? Aaron Jung, hi. Thanks for coming. Jen DM says, Daddy Chimp. I'm not sure what that <laughs> All right. D, he has been staying at a friend's house. This one, not a gerund. Again, this is a verb. This is a participle, right? He has been staying. This is the perfect continuous. Perfect continuous. Momo K, you're welcome. All right. Now, again, a couple more. Now, this is good because this is a review from last week, but some people are making a few mistakes, but that's great. You guys know I love, I love mistakes, right? Mistakes are a beautiful thing. So D is a verb. E, we had a very boring class yesterday. Again, in this case, boring is not a gerund. It is an adjective because boring is modifying or describing class. Okay. Gary, I'm not sure what you mean about that. I don't know if you're talking to me or someone else. <laughs> what, what, what family issues? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We had a very boring class yesterday. So that is an adjective. Okay. And F, I thought about going to the party, but stayed home instead. All right, stayed home instead. So in this sentence, if you said that this is a gerund, you are correct. I thought about going. Okay, I thought about going to the party. This is a noun, and we know it's a noun because of what we talked about last week with prepositions, right? Prepositions, <laughs> okay, Jerry, no, it's fine. I was just curious, okay? Prepositions, <clears throat> prepositions come before nouns. So about going, that means this guy is a gerund, okay? I need some water here. I don't wanna be coughing on you guys. Okay, so you're right, F is a gerund. Good stuff. So that's just a little review of what we talked about last week. Now let's get back into the main presentation here. Let me get back here. So this is what we talked about last week and then we're going to get into some the kind of the next the next thing. Gerunds, as we said last week, can be subjects of a sentence and they can be objects of a sentence, right? Last week we talked about objects of prepositions. Okay? Today we're going to be talking about objects of verbs. Luis is saying you don't get it. That's okay. Just stick around, Luis. We're going to make it. We're going to make it clear. 
Okay. So, gerunds as subjects. Gerunds as subjects. Look at here. Playing guitar is a great way to pass the time. Now, Luis, for you, I'll point this out. Now, in this sentence right here, playing has ing, but it is a noun because it is the subject of the sentence. The subject of a sentence has to be a noun, okay? There's your verb. So playing guitar is a great way to pass the time. That's a gerund, not a verb. And yes, absolutely, Louise, you can go back and watch, watch uh, last week's video as well. It will uh, help you out. Okay, let me show you another example. So this is how I imagine most, most students sitting at home thinking this. Studying with Sean is amazing, right? Studying with Sean is amazing. There's your subject, so that's a gerund. This right here, that's not a gerund, that's an adjective, right? Luis, you're new? Cool, well, welcome. Um, Victor says, why is it not playing the guitar? You're going back here, playing the guitar is a great way. You can say that, but you don't need to use an article with instruments, okay? But it's true, playing guitar or playing the guitar is a great way to pass the time. You're never bored if you have a guitar. So studying with Sean is amazing, right? Although actually, in, in truth, it's probably more like this. Not so much this, it's more like this, <laughs> I think. Understanding Sean is difficult, right? That's what, that's what she thinks, okay? You said, Ibrahim, are you saying, is that a girl? Yeah, I, th I think so, yeah. And again, Jerry, the piano, playing piano, playing the piano, both are okay. Okay. All right. So, again, last week we said gerunds as objects, objects of prepositions. We need to focus on finishing our project. So, oftentimes you'll see a preposition in a sentence like on, and then followed by the gerund instead of a noun, right? As we said last week, you could say we need to focus on our project, or we need, we need to focus on finishing our project, okay? And again, I know I'm going a little bit fast through this stuff, guys, but this is just to, to get us up to speed here. And then this last guy says, I'm not interested in finding out how this show ends, okay? All right, any, any questions in here so far? You guys just talking amongst yourselves? Melinda, you said me too? Me too what? <laughs> or maybe, maybe you guys are just talking to yourselves. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So I'm not interested in finding out. Steve Lynn is saying guitar playing is a great way to pass the time. Sounds a little, a little strange. Um, Guitar playing, Steve Lynn, you might say, um, you might say, I like your guitar playing, right? Like how you play the guitar, your guitar playing. Ibrahim has a good question. He's saying, or maybe it's not a question, maybe it's a statement. He's saying, gerund must follow a singular to be a verb. I think, I mean, if you mean a singular verb, then yes. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're talking about today, guys. I'm gonna get I'm gonna put you to work today looking at gerunds as objects of verbs. Okay. Mel oh Melinda, you have to fo focus on finishing your project. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. All right, I'm gonna switch from water to coffee here. I need it. All right. I always have I always have two. Yeah? Okay. So, objects of verbs. Objects of a verb are, are nouns, right? So, gerunds can be the object of a verb. Arturo is saying, we talk about playing soccer. That's really nice. 
Fetty, good question. You're saying the subject is playing or playing guitar. In that case, I, I would say the whole, um, kind of the complete subject would be playing guitar. Good one. Yasmina, you're always late. That's all right. Better late than never. So here's Vancouver. Yeah, I showed you a picture of, of Eastern Canada. This is what Vancouver looks like today. <laughs> Not quite, maybe. A little, bit, a little bit cloudier. But the sentence is, she likes Vancouver. Keep it simple. Okay? She likes Vancouver. You can, instead of, there you got the verb likes and your object of the verb is Vancouver. What does she like? She likes Vancouver. Well, instead, wow, that's 104? That's pretty good. Let's, let's get it up to 200. What do you think? <laughs> All right. She likes Vancouver. You can take that object, Vancouver, and you can replace it with a gerund. Okay? And say, she likes being in Vancouver. Aaron Jung, you said finding this class is hard for you? Okay. Abdul saying, Assalamu alaikum. Hello to you, Abdul Manan. Welcome. Ifra, you're saying my voice is slow or you want me to speak more slowly? <laughs> All right, so she likes being in Vancouver. In this sentence, being the gerund, this is the object, right? This is the object of your verb. And that's how we use gerunds as objects, okay? So let me show you another example. He regrets, he regrets his decision. Now Luis is saying she is liking. Okay, this is a good question. Now let's, again, let's, let's just, just to clarify, because these are, these are good questions here. I want to make sure everybody understands this. So she likes being in Vancouver. And then Louise says she is liking Vancouver, which we don't usually say is liking. Um, let me make that bigger for you. Nice and big. Okay, she is liking Vancouver. How about um, let's change that to she is enjoying. And just to be the same, Louise, let's say she enjoys being in Vancouver, okay? Right, so she enjoys being, that is a gerund because that is the object of this verb. What does she enjoy? She enjoys Vancouver. She enjoys um, uh, any kind of noun. She, I enjoy coffee. I enjoy drinking coffee, right? I enjoy swimming, I enjoy playing guitar, I enjoy lots of things. Mm, no, Vivek, you can't say she likes enjoying Vancouver. That's kind of like saying she likes liking Vancouver. A little strange. She likes living in Vancouver. Rain in Tripoli, good one. Now, Luis, in this case, that, it's a good sentence, but it's not a gerund. This is a verb, right? This right here, that's a verb. That's continuous, right? Present continuous. Well, we use liking sometimes, technically incorrect, but we do use it in kind of casual conversation. Okay, good question. So let me show you another one. He regrets his decision. So regret, regret is the verb. French Leo, good one, nice. She regrets, or he regrets his decision. His decision is the object of this verb. So, let's change it, let's make a gerund instead. So what does he regret? He regrets, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. He regrets deciding to leave the party. He regrets taking decisions. He regrets making his decision. Melinda, good one. Your car needs washing, Luca, that's good. He is regretting his decisions. Den Dennis, that's a good sentence, but it's not a gerund, that's continuous, okay? Giari's saying he regrets deciding on, yeah, you could say that. 
Good. So he regrets deciding to leave the party. I don't know what happened at the party, but he shouldn't have left. He should have stayed, right? He regrets not attending Sean's class. Now, <laughs> last time we also talked about how, oh wow, he's moving a, a little bit. You can use a negative gerund and say not with ing, right? So he regrets not staying at the party, okay? Brandon is saying, hola, hello. Um, so this is, as I'm saying, uh, gerunds as, as the object. Now when it comes to gerunds as the object of a verb, Brandon Vidal Najira Ariola from Mexico, welcome. I probably just, just did a terrible job at pronouncing your name, but you're welcome. <laughs> Yasmina regrets being late. Well, ish, Ishak, Ishak, I pronounced your name wrong. Well, you have to help me out a little bit, right? <laughs> French Leo, you want me to say genre again? Genre, genre. All right. Verb patterns. Now, when it comes to um, gerunds being, being the object of a verb, this is a list of some of the more common verbs that are followed by uh, gerunds. Okay, now this is what we call verb patterns. Now, in a, a class, maybe next week or the week after, we're going to be looking at the difference between infinitives and gerunds after certain verbs. But all of these verbs here, this is a good list to know. It's a good list to know because um, sometimes students make mistakes. But I would say kind of learn this list and, and practice following these words with gerunds. Okay, how are we doing for time here? Oh yeah, we got lots of time. Perfect. So. A few people have asked me some questions this week from class about some of the words in this list. So because they are unit six vocabulary words, I thought we would go over a, a few, okay? Because some people had some questions about vocabulary. I want to clarify, and then I'm going to make you guys do some work. Oh yeah, so I should probably at some point, there you go. So that's try. Try is behind my head there, right? Try, try to see it, all right. Now notice that some of the words on this list have little asterisks next to it, right? Don't worry, we will talk about that in the future, but those are words that can be followed by gerunds or can be followed by infinitives. All right? Okay, so let's look at a couple of these words. Now, uh, somebody asked me about the word admit, admit, right? For example, the boy admitted stealing the candy. Now you'll notice that there's a gerund after admit, right? The word admit is kind of like confess, right? To say something that you don't really want to, to say. Maybe it's a secret, maybe it's something you feel bad about. And Milena is saying, yes, confess, right? Admit, let me go in here for a second. Admit, I would say equals confess, which to, means to, yes, to, to own up to something, to say that something is true, even if maybe you don't want it to be true. Vivek says, I admit hating her, <laughs> okay. Jindy, I admit doing something wrong. This is good. This is good. Who can, who can sing? Rose is asking, is it true that 95% is fo are followed by infinitives and 5% followed by gerunds in English? I don't know, honestly. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the percentage is, Rosa. That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think so. I think that seems a little bit um, imbalanced. 
No, French is saying confess. Confess is more about church. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, we, if you're Catholic, Catholics confess. Uh, criminals confess, right? If the criminal confesses to a crime. But you can say, um, I must confess that I have never seen that movie. Think about a movie that everybody has seen, right? And everybody's talking about this movie, right? And you're a little bit embarrassed because you've never seen it. So you say, I must confess that I have never seen that movie. I've never seen Star Wars or something, for example. Okay? So, I would say, here, I admitted, hmm, well, I, what could I say? Well, I could say, I mean, the other one before, I admitted stealing the money or the candy, right? They say you're not a Catholic? <laughs> that's, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to get into that. <laughs> All right. So how about the next one? <laughs> Just a couple words, just to clarify, because I am going to put you guys to work, okay? I confess, no, nah, no, nah, that's a good, now nah, this is good. This is good. Now, Dennis is asking about the verb pattern with confess. Now, you can't say, no, you cannot say, I confess. I confess stealing the money? That sounds weird. I would say, I admit. I admit stealing the money. Okay. So how about this one? This next one is advise. I think it's really, we're only looking at three or four words here that you guys were asking me questions about this week. Advise. I really don't advise doing that. It's not a good idea. So advise, advise is the, the, the verb for advice. Okay, so don't be tricked by that when you say advice or advise, whoops, right? The difference there, that's the noun and there's your verb, okay? Luca said he somehow avoided failing the examination. That's, that's good. French Leo, you're on it, good for you. Alejandra admits drinking the only beer left in the fridge. Well, that's, that's, that's a good thing to admit. <laughs> yeah. I admit that would make me sad if you did that. All right. So advice, advice. Advice is like, advice is uncountable, right? Advice is about recommending. You're telling somebody what to do or what not to do. Like you should, right? I advise... Mm, watching Sean's class. <laughs> now this is, you can say this, I advise watching Sean's class a little bit unnatural. I think most people would say, I recommend. It would be a little bit, um, yeah, no, that's, that's, admit loving me, that's fine, that's perfectly okay. <laughs> okay. So I advise watching, mm, it's okay. People would probably say, I recommend watching, but it's the same, it's the same. Victor's saying, can you use the word tip as a verb? You sure can. All right. I don't know what you guys are talking about. What, I don't know. <laughs> Edward Soule, what are you, why are you picking on Brandon? All right, two more, and then it's work time for you guys. So the next one is avoid, okay? Avoid, I think you should avoid, well, avoid eating cheese or drinking milk. Maybe she's lactose intolerant, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess the audio is in mono, guys, yeah, I know. Right, so avoid means to, to stay away from something, right? To, to kind of try to 
to stay away or to prevent something from happening is to avoid. Last week we talked about avoiding your ex-girlfriend, right? Or avert, prevent, Momo K is saying, absolutely, right? Very good. And how about this one? Can't stand. And then I'm going to get you guys to do some example sentences for me, okay? I can't stand, I really can't stand taking the bus anymore, I'm buying a car. Can't stand means you really strongly dislike, you hate it, right? You can't tolerate it anymore. Can't stand doesn't actually have anything to do with standing. Avoid smoking, avoid drinking, this is good. Good for you. Victor's saying can't bear and can't stand. That's, that's absolutely right. That's really good. Okay, so how about this? Just to make sure we have enough time, I'm gonna make you guys do some work for me. All right, that was again, just to answer some of your questions from the week. And again, if you have more questions about vocabulary, put them in the chat um, and then we'll talk about them. So. All I want you guys to do, and some of you have been doing this already in the chat, you've been making me some example sentences. I would like you to finish these sentences with a gerund. Okay, so I recommend, I recommend, what can you say for that? You want to follow that with a gerund. I recommend watching the movie Arrival. Okay? The movie Arrival, I watched that last week. Mohib, you stand with me? <laughs> Arturo, you say, I can't stand seeing food, okay? Now give me some example sentences, gang. Put the letter next to it so it's easy for me to pick it out of the chat, but I want you guys to use these gerunds as objects and, um, and show, me that, uh, show me what you can do, okay? So put some sentences in the chat, and then we'll go over it together. I'm going to pop off here for a minute and play the monkey music. Actually, <laughs> okay. Um, get to work, and I will be back. If you have questions, put them in the chat. Put your answers in the chat. All right, go to it.
All right. Good stuff. <laughs> Brandon, you're just you're just putting emojis in there. Weightlifters and monkeys. How about some gerunds? <laughs> All right. So, A, I said I recommend. Harry Krishna Karel said I recommend. I recommend watching this movie, but he says I recommend going to city. Now, the one thing I would say there for you is going to the city or going to this city. That's good. Trey Brown recommends viewing the movie Arrival. Yeah, you saw it too? Or are you just stealing my example? <laughs> All right, what about, what about A? Uh, where are we here? Momo says, I recommend reading my book. Sure. Zaid says, I recommend going on a journey to Canada. Some people are saying, I recommend watching English lessons on YouTube. Milena is saying that. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, good. Thank you for that. Very good. Zara, I recommend going to this restaurant. Really good, guys. Good stuff. Um, Jindy, I recommend following the rules. All right, so what about B? You guys are doing well. B, I, it's hard to imagine. Now, just remember, everything that I say in class, I do, I do it for a reason. So when I showed you that picture of my mother's front door with all of that snow, I said to you guys, can you imagine waking up and seeing the snow? Can you imagine opening your door to go to school and seeing that snow. So that's an example of imagine followed by the gerund. So it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine going out with her, Vivek says. <laughs> Missing Sean's lesson. That's a nice one. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> All right. Alejandro the same, not having Sean's class. Good, good negative gerund there. That's nice. Okay. Uh, let me see. One more, one more, one more. It's hard to imagine. Okay, Chanel S. You said it's hard to imagine reaching. Now you said the, but you wouldn't say the. You'd say reaching Mars. It's hard to imagine reaching Mars. Sure. Yeah. So I can't stand. Zara says watching this channel. Again, you guys are really good at putting example sentences that, that make me wonder if you're talking about, if you're talking about me. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> That's okay. I'm not going to cry. And of course, Alejandra very, took me very literally. I said, finish these sentences with gerunds. So Alejandra said, I can't stand gerunds, which is, that's what I said to do, right? So, so good for you. You could say, I don't usually mind gerunds. I'm trying to avoid gerunds. <laughs> okay. So let's get that out of there. Very nice. <laughs> hmm. Blurry face bug, your answer doesn't have a gerund in it, okay? Marcelo. Marcelo Gustavo saying, I can't stand seeing them quarrel. Nice one, right? He's a lover, not a fighter. Keep the peace. Good one. Momo K, I can't stand looking at her. Well, that's, that's unfortunate. I can't stand being around her. You guys, there are a lot of people that... <laughs> you guys are being really rough on, on whoever she is. I don't know who she is. All right, D, last night. Last night. My friend and I considered, considered, Melania, that's a good one, and yeah. Good, Vivek, you're saying learning French, traveling to Hawaii. <laughs> okay, French Leo, I'm gonna stay away from that one. Yeah, so some of you said this one. I, my friend and I considered watching a movie. I get that ing in there. Good. Good, good, good. Now, Muhib Ali, 
just try to make sure you get the gerund in there. So avoid, I'm trying to avoid, then you want the gerund after that. Okay, so what about E? I, you should not postpone. You should not postpone. Oh, Lewis, you said for this one, Lewis Hunt said watching the Batman Lego movie. Nice one. What's something you should not postpone? I want to find somebody. Who have I not... Who have I not seen yet? Let me put an answer up from somebody different here. Who's got E for me? There's so many... So many answers. I can't see one. Aaron, okay, so I, you should not postpone handing in your essay. Handing in your essay, good one. Somebody said, who said um, like getting married or something like that? You should not postpone having your wedding. Zaid says, you shouldn't postpone moving to Tennessee. Okay, okay, <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I will move to Tennessee, yeah? Is it nice down there? <laughs> Three more here. I don't usually mind. I don't usually mind. And that's F. I'm going for F. Who's got F? Zainab says, I don't usually mind waking up early. In the morning. Good. Yeah, me neither. I don't usually mind that. I have kids, which is it's good that I don't mind it. All right. Two more here. I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> Aaron, you're trying to avoid murdering someone? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, yeah, keep good luck with that. Who was it that said Melinda maybe? I don't know. You said I'm trying to avoid my um, seeing my boyfriend? <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's a good sign uh, for your relationship, but that's, that's a good sentence. Okay, what else? Trying to avoid... Rosie's saying there's a lot of Spanish going on in the chat. Yeah, let's keep it, let's keep it English in here, guys. All right? English class, that's why you're here. And Anko, what's, what's this one? Losing Sean's class? Which one? I regret? I'm trying to avoid? You're trying to avoid losing my class? Rosa saying, I'm trying to avoid eating pizza? Rosa, aren't you in Italy? That would be very difficult to avoid eating pizza in Italy. It's so good over there. Amanda says, avoid eating chocolate? Eh, a little bit. A little bit of chocolate's okay, though, yeah? A little bit in moderation? <laughs> Arturo says, traveling on planes. Caesar, telling him what happened at the party. Oh, my goodness. I wonder what happened. Selene says, I'm not trying to avoid eating chocolate. <laughs> All right. All right, how about this last one? I regret. Is Iskander saying, I'm trying to avoid watching TV too much? Good one. And how about the last one? Regret. <laughs> All right, Vivek, you get it. I regret marrying her, not with her. I regret marrying her. Come on, let's <laughs> let's let's have something a little bit a little bit more optimistic here <laughs> for the last one. I regret. How about this? I regret. I regret writing Vivek's answer. How about that? That's what I regret. <laughs> Slanae says, I regret shouting to her or shouting at her. I regret watching that movie. It must have been a very bad movie from Dennis. All right, this is good, guys. This, this makes me feel pretty good, pretty confident that you guys, um, you guys understand the gerunds as objects. Anka, you're saying making the artist. I'm not sure what you mean there. Hey, that's a good one. I, okay, I'm going to take this one away. 
<laughs> Arturo just put a good one in there because he's using a negative gerund, right? And he's saying, I regret not having breakfast. Good example. Blurry Face Bug says, I regret losing that opportunity. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Anka says, I regret being an artist. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a hard, it's a hard way to make money, I guess, yeah. Jay Pablo saying, can I scroll up my screen? Well, I can scroll up a little bit, sure. I can go down here, and I can make it so you can see all of them one more time. But what we're going to do, actually, I'm going to leave this screen, all right. Brandon's back. Good for you. Look at you writing in English. That's great, Brandon. Welcome back. So um, I'm actually going to leave this screen because it is time, it is time once again for, of course, let me go down here. It's time for the mistake of the week. Rose is saying, I regret staying in bed. Like, I'm, not, I'm not touching that one either. So it's time for the mistake of the week. All right, the mistake of the week. As most of you know, this is how it works. Every week, I put a mistake on the screen, and I want you to find it. M-O-W, yeah, which I guess could also be movie of the week, but this is the mistake of the week, all right? So anybody who's new, I'm going to put this sentence on the screen, and then I'm going to disappear for about five to 10 seconds, and I want you to find me the mistake. French Leo, did you just call me Blue Skirt? Or is that somebody else? <laughs> okay. So let's see. Whoever gets it fastest, whoever finds it first, is the best student in my class today. On this day, February 17th, 2017? Yeah. Okay. Here's the mistake. Time is the mistake, Aaron. <laughs> All right, here we go. So find the mistake, I'll be back. Go for it. All right. Okay. So this is a good one. Maybe I, hmm, I tricked some of you. So at least one person, I think two people or so found it. Vivek can't find the mistake. That's okay. That makes me, that makes me happy, right? When I, when I stump you guys. <laughs> okay. So some of you I tricked. You were looking at managed to finish and thinking that I was going to say it's a problem with the gerund or something. Some of you were looking at the commas here, but those commas are okay. You want a comma before but? And you can put a comma at the end of this phrase, at the end, comma, I managed, that's okay. You, you could probably take 
let me, let me make this here. You could probably take this comma away, and that would be fine. All right, ah, some, some more people are coming up with it. Good, good, good. Yeah, adios, Brandon. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the mistake is not with gerunds or with commas. And I believe, I believe Victor is the victor today, right? Victor, you are the winner. Um, you are the fastest draw on the internet, I think. Good for you, yeah. Victor Scolota found it. The mistake with this sentence is that preposition right there. A very common mistake, which is why some people could not see it. Now, in this sentence, I say it was very hard to get everything done, but at the end, I managed to finish the project. Yeah? But that's not, uh, that's not what we mean. That's not what we're supposed to say. We can't say at the end. At the end is more specific with um, things like movies, books, the day, right? Something that there's, there's time involved, and we're talking about the end of that duration of time, right? At the, at the end of the week, at the end of the day, at the end of the show, okay? But in this case, we mean in the end. In the end, as Jindy M is saying, it equals finally. It means finally. It was very hard to get everything done, but finally, right, kind of in conclusion, this concluded um, thing that's happening, I managed to finish the project. Anka Vilia, uh, at the end of the street? Yes, you can say at the end of the street. Absolutely. Good for you. So Alejandro is saying why in and not at? Because there is no, it's not, it's not at the end, at the end of what? At the end of what is the question, right? Um, at the end has to refer to something, something specific, Alejandra, as I said, like a movie or a book or a day or a, a street or a hallway or something like that at the end. But we're, there's really no, we're not talking about an actual physical end or, or a time end. We're just talking about kind of finally, okay? That was very tricky mistake of the week. Absolutely. Tricky one. Yeah, well, every once, every once in a while I want to I want to throw you guys a little bit of a curveball, right? Sometimes make it too easy. At the end of the year? Yes. Good. At the end of the day, I did not find the mistake of the week. <laughs> Jerry said, well, that's okay, because at the end of the day, all that matters is you tried, right? And that you learned. And that at the end of the day, it's important just to um, go for it and make a mistake and be okay with that, all right? So don't, don't sweat it, all right? And that means I regret to say the time is up, right? French Leo is what you're talking about, less or fewer what? I missed that, I missed that question. J. Pablo, get, get, get Victor a beer. <laughs> yeah, right. So right, in the end, we have a better understanding. This is, that's a really good example from Steve Lynn. He's saying, we have a better understanding in the end, or we have a better understanding at the end of Sean's class. Exactly. We are now, we are at the end of my class. Ben Check, at the end of class, everybody goes away. <laughs> I know, it's sad. It's sad. Well, all things have to, all things have to end, all right? Don't be too sad because in the end we know, in the end we know that I'll just see you again next week, right? Okay, so let me, let me jump out of here. French Leo, are you still talking about less? Yeah, you say less money because money is not countable. I mean, I know money is, you can count money, but the word money, you cannot say one money, two monies, right? So you say less money, not fewer money. Fewer dollars, less money. All right? I hope that answers your question. So, guys, always a pleasure. Yeah, it's always fun to pop in here at the beginning of my day, at the end of your day, uh, for some of you, to do a little 
a little English. Don't be too, yeah, don't be too sad. All good things must come to an end eventually. Um, Jindy's saying, what's the meaning of shift the weight off? Well, that just means to, to take some of the weight off, off something somehow. I need to see context on that one. Send me a, send me a message on, on the Facebook group or something and we'll, we'll talk about that. Ishak Khan is saying, in the end, we will all die. Well, that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a positive. Let's, let's, let me leave you with that positive message. <laughs> Okay, what a what a what a happy way to end this class. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, guys. <laughs> so keep uh, keep watching. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Let's get more people in here. Let's get 200, 300, 400 people in here. Um, bring everybody. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of my blue shirt. I'll try, and um, keep. Keep sending your questions on the Facebook group, okay? Um, it has been busy. I know I haven't been on there as much the last uh, couple weeks, I'm trying to get on there more, okay? And if you're a premium subscriber, I'm going to send you the homework. The homework is going to be grammar 6-1. Just do that whole exercise because that's kind of a, a review of all, everything we've talked about with, uh, with, uh, with Jaren's. You guys calling me the master? Well. I mean, th you can thank thank me, guys, but remember, um, I mean, thank you. Thank you for watching, guys, because um, without you, I'm just a crazy guy alone in a room talking to no one, okay? <laughs> so, so this class, remember that this class is you guys, all right? Um, without you, there would be nothing, all right? So how about that for a, for a positive note, all right? Keep practicing your English. Keep watching the other shows, right? The other the other classes. You got you got Neil. You've got Abby. You got Josh, right? And um, yeah, stay 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 warm, stay dry, stay stay out of the cold, and we'll see you here next week, guys. Okay? All right. See you later. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. Also. If you want the full experience of being a student in a smart live class with things like homework and teacher feedback, follow the link and become a premium subscriber. Also, if you want to see more videos from this class, check out our playlist.